Hey YouTube, welcome back. Uh, today's job is an aluminum truck bed toolbox. It's got a few cracks all around. Um, where we TIG welding it, I got a new uh, setup on my TIG torch. Uh, Furic cup and all stubby and everything, so it might help me get a little bit better shots. But let's show you what needs to be fixed. So you'll see there's cracks all over. The GoPro's not best for that, but you can see that's cracked all the way across right there. Same on this side. Um, up here, if we look at the lid, if you look across the whole lid, right there, it's curved pretty good. And that's because when it got built, or however it was designed, you know, you grab in the middle to close it, well these bars, that are supposed to support it don't go all the way through for some reason they stopped them right there and right there and this offers a lot of flexibility so when you go to close this from the middle you end up with a crack like that and so as I'm holding it in the middle to close it down you can see the curvature quite a bit better and so we're going to uh, weld that in get rid of that drilled hole and then we're going to take this center piece out and we're going to reinforce these bars all the way through and I might even get of it a bit of a dome so it's the exact opposite of how it is now. Um, this, this guy will come out of here. We can show you just the same on this side. This one's cracked as well. The difference on this side is that, that cracks are going this direction as well. So all four corners need fixed. I'm gonna use this smaller aluminum channel or angle to reinforce this. I don't know how well you can perceive it but that right there is all flex. The gas shocks aren't compressing at all. And that's all just flex in the lid. And aluminum does something really good. When it starts to crack, it continues to crack really well. So anyways, we'll get you clicked into your tripod and you can see how this goes. So I'm gonna start off first and foremost. This is pretty thin, this is probably 18 or so gauge so I'm gonna start out on all these cracks and just get used to it used to the new welding torch setup How thin this is and then once those are done we'll strip this Thing off conglomeration and we'll reinforce this through top and bottom and maybe even one across the middle so Stick with it Here's the new setup. I was talking about on the uh, TIG welder so it's got a, a stubbier set here, it's got a wedge collet, um, and then this clear quartz cup, so you can see through it. The whole thing is probably four and a half or five inches shorter, lower profile than what was on there. Um, but I can grab the stuff to show you what was on there real quick. So that's where that would have been and that's where that would have been so it's just a, a lot lower profile as you can see so anyways I'm not sure how I'm gonna like this I might switch out from this quartz cup back to another ceramic cup I don't know if I'll like how bright that is but it might help you guys see better
Okay, so I have this marked out to cut. It's gonna sit right up over that. So I basically I'm just turning these up like that. And then I'll run this angle iron down as reinforcements that direction. But this will be a better repair. I'll probably do like three plug welds across this. And then as best I can hit down in here and up across the top. But I don't know that I'll be able to reach in very well across the top there. But that'll be perfect. drill some holes in this, do some plug welds, and I'll be right back. Let's see what we can do to weld this up. <clears throat> I put this steel plate on there to help this stay rigid and bend the lid more than bend this piece. So I'm going to fill in these plug welds. I'm going to do two tacks on this leading edge here, and then we'll pop this off and see how it holds. Okay, I'm gonna stand this uh, box back up and we're gonna see how that um, turning those two reinforcements around worked. I'm having a real hard time welding this. I don't know if it's me or the aluminum, but uh, let's see how this goes. So there's literally no flex in this now. Um, it ended up with a lot more of a bow to it than I was planning. So bring it down you can see quite a hump to it I don't love that but it's better than it was um, consider that a roof slope so that water will run off the top I guess but uh, there's absolutely no flex in the middle now does 
I before when I pulled on it down those gas shocks up. It flexed quite a bit. I don't actually even think we need those crossbars in there. There's it's a lot more rigid now. So it didn't turn out pretty. I don't know if there's something on this aluminum that I couldn't get off. If I'm super shaky, if my welder's acting up, I don't know, but Every time I started going, I, I couldn't keep the amperage low enough to not blow through. Um, so it is ugly, but it's much better. If you come up right here, there's a little bit of a crack still that I gotta address, so I'm gonna run a little beat up that. But I'm uh, gonna you know, change the frequency on my welder, run a higher frequency, see if that helps. Turn my current down. Maybe 200 amps. Then the AC balance has a 63. I'm gonna try 70. And then the frequency is 100. I'm gonna run that up to 150 max. I'm gonna go with 130. That should pinpoint the focus of my car. So let's see how that does. Actually welded a ton better right there. So I must have had some goofy settings because that turned into a puddle almost instantly. Maybe for kicks and giggles we can fill this hole right here. I'm gonna flip this up. Oh, almost knocked you off the table. This clear cup is making my depth perception way off because I can't tell how far away I am, I think. Or I just suck at this. See if closing the lid makes this less likely to tip on me. Well, the box is done. I think the moral of the story is I need to get better at fine-tuning my settings and I also need to get used to that cut but honestly did knock off my depth perception I kept touching because I thought I was further away than I was because I'm not used to being able to see the whole electrode like that uh, clear cup allows me to but uh, the other thing is I need to get a variety of electrodes because or not electrodes filler wire because there is a huge difference between those two and I need something right in between them this one melted too fast this one was I did, I had to get so hot to melt this one that it would melt the burn through on the parent metal. So, anyways, it's not beautiful. It's going on a utility trailer. Um, mostly he wanted to get rid of all the flex and the cracks, and the cracks are gone. The flex is also gone. Um, that doesn't flex at all now. Like I said, it didn't turn out the prettiest likely mostly my settings but uh yeah turning those two out made that whole lid so much stronger so anyways i burnt through a ton but it's done um ready to go back so thanks for watching check out the fact that that doesn't 
flex it on anymore. And even with that bent, it still completely closes. So, anyways, thanks for watching.